Wings. Ladies and gentlemen, Birch Barlow. Ugh, that Barlow's a right-wing crackpot. He said Ted Kennedy lacked integrity. To Mrs. McFeely's compost heap. <laughs> and three, our six-term mayor, the illiterate... The class always gets to do projects. Well, um, I'm doing a school project on, uh, fireworks. <laughs> Bart, I wish you wouldn't lie like that. When I'm driving a car, I get to choose the radio station. When you're driving, we'll listen to your radio station. I don't know who Sideshow Bob is. <gasps> Sideshow Bob used to be Krusty the Clown's sidekick. But in 1990, he framed Krusty for armed robbery and Bart got him put in jail. Uh-huh. When he got out... What's in it for us? Hey, give us something we like. We'll ride you out of town on a rail. <clears throat> well, uh, what do you uh, people like? Sleep. Sexy dimes and plant. Convicted of a crime I didn't even commit. <laughs> attempted murder. Now, honestly, what is that? Do they give a Nobel Prize for attempted chemistry, do they? Oh. My friends, Bob is a political prisoner. I want every loyal listener to do everything they can to get him out of jail. All right, you heard the man. Robert Underdonk to Williger. Boots on the other side. Yes, thank you. A true leader who will do exactly as he's told. Monty, I'm way ahead of you. If you'll just open that door, you'll see the next mayor of Springfield. My opponent, Joe Quimby, is confused about your school system. Do you know what he does? He flip-flops. Sometimes he does. Have. More important than coal? Uh, uh, yes. That was a big mistake. Quimby, if you were running for mayor, he'd vote for you. Paid for by the mayor, Quimby for mayor, mayoral committee. Hey, four eyes, vote Quimby. Hey, Beardo, vote Quimby. This time he's the lesser of two evils. The expressway, I will spend the remainder of this afternoon patiently listening to your interminable anecdotes. Hot chickadee jam! Beavers! Not burning people. Vote Sideshow Joe Bob for mayor. The League of Uninformed Voters presents the Springfield Mayoral Debates. I'm your moderator, Larry King. Now a word to... Oh. Side Joe Bob. Councilman Les Wynan says that you're not experienced enough to be mayor. Sir, what do you have to say about that? Hmm, I don't agree with it. For Mayor Terwilliger's victory speech. You will have 72 hours to vacate. At that time, we will blow up your house and any remaining Simpsons. Homer, we've got to stop them. I know what you're up to, Mayor Twigger. I call the Flintstone phone. Yeah, but dabba do. I like talking to you. <laughs> We're gonna lose our host. Aaron L. Aaron Tim voted for Bob. Arthur B. Ablabab voted for. I can't tell you who I am, but I worked on the campaign. Hey, Mr. Smithers! Well, you might as well give me a ride. This is hopeless. They're gonna demolish our house for sure. We're gonna have to move into a Motel 6. But Dad can't afford $6 a night. Hey! Please! Please, come here! All right, Bob. Now it's personal. Hey, um... He did try to kill me. Oh, I don't mind. We want these children to feel justice has been served. That way they can sleep soundly tonight on their hard, feculent motel pillows. To rig an election by yourself, do you? You were just Barlow's lackey. You were Ronnie to his Nancy. Sonny to his share. Bingo to his rest of the Beatles. Enough! Lies, lies, lies! I... Hmm. But why? Because you... Great, Seymour. We've been out here six seconds. You've already managed to blow the routine. Mm, this could take a minute. There's an opening, Mom. 
I don't know. I, I hate to change lanes once I get going. That's really for race car drivers. Mom, to your left. He's letting you in. Pulling raw. It didn't ask. It just took. Can you know? Bringing in the green. Come on, let me have this one, Stan. I'm begging you. Look at me. I'm begging you, Stan. Mm-hmm. Let's go write this up, shall we? Then here's your monthly, and there's your weekly. And that's it, right? Yep. Oh, then after your final monthly payment, there's the routine CBP or crippling balloon payment. But that's not for a while, right? She wants. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Screw you guys! <laughs> Lousy up series, frilly, girly, fruity car. <laughs> How am I supposed to get in this beast? Hmm. Well, that's a nice feature. Not much headroom, though. Ew, why is Courtney Love on the Wheaties box? Hmm, I thought it was Sandy Duncan. Uh-oh, gridlock at 12 o'clock. <laughs> it doesn't seem right. <sighs> Do you want to spend your whole life doing what's right? Of course not. Let's do it. Can you know? No. You think you can keep? A vodka! A, a, a three-chambered peanut! Bart, look what I did! Come quick, hurry! And tell Bart to get out of my purse. down, you maniac. Show some respect for this coffin full of bricks representing a young man lost at sea. Hey. That's right. You're all angry, sick people. But over these next eight hours, you will be broken down to the level of infants. People are getting angrier. Now, what you're about to see is not pretty. And as if that film wasn't enough, we have a special guest. Why, it's Curtis E. Bear. The Curtis E. Bear. Boop, 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 boop. Call me, right? I won't even get sexual or nothing. Unless that's what you want. But that's not what you want, right? No thanks. But thanks. Oh, no, no. At least I've got a license. <laughs> Come on, kids, I went too far. Authorities say there's no immediate danger to anyone except those three luckless people whom we'll identify once the rhinos spit out their wallets. Huh? Back! Back, I say! Get in! Get in! <laughs> Come on, Homer, jump! <laughs> oh, when will Detroit build a sunroof for the husky gentlemen? Who's out there? <laughs> gonna die! Jesus, Allah, Buddha! I love you all! Station and repair, and finally, my fifth floor. Smithers, wait! Yes, sir? In case you didn't hear me, I said I will never see you as my equal. I heard you very clearly, sir. Excellent. The scotch and water. Hmm. Business is slow, huh? Yeah. Frankly, I'm surprised you're not across the street where they drink for fun. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, no offense, uh, but uh, I just ain't comfortable hanging around all night with, uh, you know, whatchamacallit, uh, swish kebabs. Mm, yeah, right. Oh, that's too bad. I have you. Flam! Oh, gentlemen, there is no need to head home so soon. Mm. Ew. Isn't that the place where all those rats commit? Ah, I'm gonna pour some beers now. <laughs> Huh? Hey, something's different about Mouse. There's no chicks here. There's never any chicks here. Nothing against that.
Wait a minute. Your standard markup is 400%? Now give me that. Don't you dare question the gospel according to Dr. Swig McJigger. Forget whose. Anyway, I I'm here to introduce your new music teacher, Ms. Juniper. Honey, just teach the one with the starfish head and you'll be okay. Teach? <laughs> you can't- Tolerance March, I'm going to use the men's room. <laughs> hey, I didn't know you were, uh, you know, one of those- I'm not comic book guy, I'm his cousin, comic book gay. But you- Oh, do these guys think you're one of them? Why would they think that? Oh, I love you, Neil Patrick Hairless. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Might go somewhere else. All right, all right, good point, but uh, let's hear from Angel Mo. I am Angel Mo. <laughs> but something terrible has happened. You misfiled the permission slips. You keep the green. I need the white. Hey, come back to Earth. Well, sir, what do you think of my business? Escaping. Yeah. But have fun, because you're the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Psst. Mo, have you been... What am I doing here, Seymour? The thing I'm planning hasn't even gone off yet. Ah! That wasn't me, and you're my alibi. If, if the state finds out, they'll shut us down. Okay, have fun dying alone. Deal. I can't believe I'm playing video games with Bart Simpson. I've sketched you so many times. But why? I mean, but why? Words are your enemy, my love. Melody is staying at her father's tonight, and, well, I can't dance by myself. He's the heart of this town's gay community. Mm. Will you do it, Mo? Will you become Springfield's first openly gay city councilman? Heh. <laughs> well, I think if you guys... I'm walking on sunshine, not literally, it means that I'm happy, postcoitally, it was on a school night. Skinner? That's upside down? <laughs> Raggedy Ann was so right about you. <laughs> Thanks to you, Melody's mother is so upset she's moving them out of town. Goodbye, Seymour. Look, I don't know how long this will last. It could be a day, it could be the rest of our lives, but you'll never know unless you take this chance. Give yourself...